Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make the second video of this kind, which is the pens that I got in February 2020. Let's start. However, first let me ask you to subscribe the channel if you didn't already and I have to tell you that this time there are less pens than in January. Somehow it gets a little less exciting, but it also gets a little bit more sustainable because I have lots of pens in the waiting list to be reviewed. So, let's start just watching to the plain background and let's see some pens. And the first pen, I'm going to show you only five pens. And the first pen that I'm going to show you, it's not one, but two, it is the Caveco Coral from Fontoplumo. I already made this uh, review and this is a, a pen, a Caveco Sport pen, which has this very interesting guilloche pattern engraved on uh, every other facet of the cap and also on the peril. It is an interesting pen with a very interesting color and this is something that I really would like to, to, to show you. This pen... I already made the review so you can check it, uh, can check that video. I will link uh, on the description below for the videos I already made. And just to let you know this is the Cavec Sport Strawberry, which is an edition from China. And I'm having some trouble with autofocus here. Sorry, and I would say this is the closest color to that one. So, quite different, as you may see. These are very nice little pens with this pink orangey look. And don't, if you like, don't forget to check the video, or you already have an idea of what they are here in this one. And let's go to the third pen. I would say this is going to be a shorter video than last month, which may be better. I have this pen. This is an Atami Hooded pen. I don't, I don't think there is also even a, a model name. It is a pen made of plastic. It comes from China. And it has a Parker 51 kind of appearance with the same kind of clutch ring. And then it has a converter. And it's it. It's made of plastic. It's a very wet nib. Quite interesting. And it says Natami there. And it has a color that for me it is impossible to describe. I would say that in some lighting it looks like a mustard, mustard color. And in some lights it looks like... Uh, a mixture between mustard and olive, so not really that simple to show you. So this pen comes in the following of the tradition of Chinese pens of emulating the Parker 51. Here you have one with a steel cap, metal cap, and that one is a plastic cap. And this is the Hero 613, so a little uh, different, more similar with the real Parker 51. You have here also the Jinhao 51A, very similar with Parker 51 also, with a different kind of clip. And finally, we have a Parker 51. So, these are different pens, they are not exactly the same pen, but we can say they are inspired by the Parker 51. We cannot say they are... I, it, I think it's difficult to say they are copies. I'm not saying fake, because when we're talking about fake, I'm talking mainly about trying to be something they are not. These are, this is not trying to be a Parker 51, or not any one of the others that I showed you. They are not fake. But I would say they have... Some of them have a almost they have a copy of the design. This one is not even that, and it is hard to say that any pen, 
I would say that every hoodie pen is somehow a copy of a Parker 51, even if it's not a copy. But it is inspired Parker 51, as far as I know, was the first hooded pen, so... Hooded nib pen, so... That's it. I think this one has a very interesting and colorful and joyful look. I read and saw nice reviews about it and I had to test it in first hand. I just have to say that it seems a little bit too slim, but nice pen with a wet nib. I will make the review soon and we will see how it performs on paper. And now let's go for the uh, fourth pen. And this is something that I like. You, There are different opinions about this. This is the Jin Hao Centennial or the Jin Hao Du Fold. And as the name says, it is a very strong, it has a very strong inspiration on the Parker Centennial Du Fold. And although this is not a fake, this is, I would say, this is a copy. All the design elements are the same except for the clip, which has not the same arrow shape. There is the medallion is different and also the the nib is a little bit different. But it has exactly the same kind of design of a modern Parker Centennial Lufold. Last month I showed you this one, which is another Jin Hao Centennial, and it is also a beautiful color and I think I'm <laughs> getting really interested in these pens. And why? Because they are well made. And I like the full design. And just for comparison, this is a real Parker Centennial Lufold, this one on top. So you may see they are really, really close relatives to each other. And this is it, just to show. This is another pen that I received. I already recorded a review of the Jin Hao Centennial and it will be published soon. And let's go for the final pen. And I'll keep this under 10 minutes, I hope. It is this little thing. And this is the... Oh, sorry, let me check my notes. The Vingsung 60. And the Vingsung 60 is this steel pen. Very interesting, very shiny, well made. And it has this... Uh, space Shuttle there. So, I have to say that this pen is almost... Uh, it is inspired in the Fisher Space Pen, of course, and I would say that putting these, it looks like a copy of that one. And I think it, it could have not that Space Shuttle, and would be, it, would, it would be a different pen, and I think it would be nicer. Uh, there, and it would be somehow uh, an improvement or a step forward or sideways from the Fisher Space Pen because Fisher Space Pen is not a fountain pen and this one is. And this one has the, that kind of uh, old Schiffer or old Wing Sung nib, which I find very nice. And do you know what? This pen writes really well. When posted, it becomes a large pen, and the it it takes it, the the only let's say problem is the the aerometric filler that doesn't have such a big feel. It is very similar, I would say, to the Caveco Lilliput. One reminds of the other because of the kind of shape and so on. But this Vingsung is even bigger. And it writes well. It's a slip cap which is easier to use for a pocket pen. So, very interesting pen, this one, and I will review it soon. I don't, I, I don't think there is any review online yet. So, this is all I had to show you for this month. Next month I'm waiting for some really exciting th stuff to come into my mail and I will show you then. So, this is all for today. Please Keep looking to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to watch my future videos. See you soon. Bye.